Um, you're playing now in the, well, you're coaching now at the Turkey League. Uh, and there's been something that very, fans of the Turkey League are very concerned about what happened with Bucket Bank and COVID, COVID-19. But yeah. we don't know how it feels when you're there. Can you tell us how does it feel for the players, for the coaches? No, we okay. Uh, I think this COVID problem is something really strange. I don't want to talk about medical issues because it's not my problem, and I am not doctor, of course. But any any player, any any people take this kind of uh, COVID uh, in a different feeling. So uh, you don't know the personal reaction of uh, the athletes, no? There is some athletes have a lot of scary, some athletes don't care, some athletes it's okay, it's not something big deal. Uh, I tried uh, at least um, almost two months ago to call one doctor and make one meeting with the team for almost two hours and explain many things about COVID, but still this uh, general word scary make people anxious and so you don't know the reaction after we take the notice at least uh, the uh, giovanni communications you have at uh, covid uh, and back um, if monday tuesday i am in giovanni house for celebrate his birthday and at least uh, i was negative after he say me i go to the to, to immediately test for understand if I can do something and I was totally negative so um, personal I don't have a lot of scary about uh, this situation I respect uh, all the pandemic and all what's happened but uh, I think uh, is uh, you can't have a control about this if this happen happen you are anyone look uh, very important people uh, let's say uh, you know um, also in uh, charge or in uh, government uh, take covid also if they care so much you can't have a control about this you have only to try to care more you can if it's happening this is what i feel thank you for sharing that <laughs> no let's go Danny. no go ahead <laughs> No, um, I was uh, wondering since you were saying that every player and everyone seems to have a different take on it because it's not a general feeling. You can feel about it a certain way. How does that affect the training? How does that affect the, the playing? Yeah, uh, example, uh, our setter, uh, Lauren Carlini, have a COVID in uh, summer. After she came here, she got negative. After two negative, she can fly and come here. After she comes, she repeats the test and was, first test was positive again. So fake positive because after she have two negative consecutively the day after and the day after again. But the girls, mm -hmm. example, become a little bit nervous. So I prefer cancel the practice. I think if there is something make you nervous about your health, about your mind, it's better right now don't practice. If you don't no really the situation so it's better have the people in right mind right now but for sure this general situation in this moment is not easy it's the first time you start the day and you know in which way you finish the day and especially you don't know what's happened tomorrow first yeah. season in <laughs> marcello lauren carolini uh, didn't have a good uh, season in russia um uh, Why do you decide uh, take Carli to Carlini to to your team? But really, we des I decide um, almost in January, and uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, she's very talented player. I think uh, I am sure she's also. I start to work with her. She's really incredible team player, and uh, mm -hmm. I don't think she's the right setter for Russia volleyball. We're talking about mm -hmm. one setter have different characteristics. She likes to play faster, she likes to play different kind of volleyball than usually you play in Russian style. In Italy, at least mm -hmm. she wins Champions League. Uh, so depends really also the team you arrange around one setter. Yeah, you are actually, we're talking right now, and we're amazed because we're talking right now with our uh, world record holder for most times in a finale of a championship on a row. Literally yeah. every team you were from the 09 to now was on the finale of their league and you've been in one of most 
in some of the most important leagues in Europe, Italy, Azerbaijan, uh, Poland, Turkey. And how do you manage to get in with the style of every league? Because there are different styles of playing every league. Like you just said, Russia is something totally different from Turkey and Poland and Italy and Yeah, anything is different. This is really, but probably right now I can say this is my best skill. No, I don't know because right now we need it also lucky, of course. But uh, for sure, adapt where you go and try to understand what you have for to take the best performance. Probably right now I write, uh, I, I find it the right way. Is uh, is not easy. You have totally reason because uh, it's not only about volleyball. The most easy part, at least, is volleyball because volleyball is uh, easier, easier game. The problem is uh, manage different emotional, different vision, different culture, different uh, uh, habit, different uh, religious. Because also some kind of holiday, you know, in some. Uh, in some country, different country. But I think maybe I start uh, really a lot of years ago to travel around the world and understand uh, that world is very beautiful because it's so much different. So I try to find this the difference and work about that. And Marcelo, what about the pressure that you have? Because I think in, in all the countries, um, all the teams, the goal is be the champions, but what in which countries you found uh, more pressure to work? So I can swear to you, in any team I go, they say we have to win. Any day, <laughs> you have, we have to win. <laughs> you are not only the team you have to win, there is also other team who want to win, you know? Uh, mm -hmm. The pressure is, um, yes, they continue to give pressure and the pressure for sure uh, The club continues to say, to say, to say this, but I don't feel, I don't feel pressure. I grow up from when I was child about pressure of the victory, win, win, make a result, make a result. So it's natural, it's part of the game, you know. And uh, mm -hmm. right now looks not so much complicated to manage this. I try my best and uh, uh, the pressure is good when the pressure is positive. When the pressure becomes yeah. negative, it's complicated. And in some teams, this is happen. And so this pressure never arrived to win result. You understand what I mean? Yeah. 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 You need to have a positive pressure of results. Like, um, in, we need to win, but we don't need to win for to be the main thing. Yeah. But, you know, any team want to win. Uh, sometimes the goal is win the title, sometimes the goal is win the fourth position. But anytime you say you have to win, you have to win, you have to win. Thanks God, uh, until uh, two years ago, well, now no, in Turkish Airlines we have different idea. but any team want to win the title, 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 title. Sometimes happens, sometimes no. This is, this is sport. So what is the main thing that you have to focus about when managing a team? You mean the most difficult? No, the most important for you. But, But if I, you want to tell me what is the most difficult part, I'm okay with it. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I, I think the most important for me uh, probably has to happen again. I, I like to, to see this. I hope to happen again <laughs> for win again the most important. In the past, I can say my story in Fenerbahce in this moment uh, is uh, the most important part of... Uh, my job, my career, and maybe where I can make my better volleyball right now. Very interesting that you said about what you said about Spain, because we were seeing where were you <laughs> everywhere at a period of time. And there is a connection between you being in the league of the, of the country and somehow the country is starting to do better, at least at a European level. We heard a lot of Azerbaijan, we heard a lot of Turkey, we, heard, we, we are hearing a lot of Poland right now. Uh, what is it? What do you do? <laughs> no, is uh, in volleyball in the country, understand the volleyball is the country, is the first key. 
but European volleyball is European volleyball. And at least uh, I grew up uh, in national team, so the volleyball is the same. No, is there is one net and one court. Understand uh, um, the difference for to try to put your team more close to the high level and high level is absolutely mm-hmm. no doesn't matter the country high level is this the volleyball have to play like this try to use it your skill for to arrive to play the most high level volleyball you can this is what we try when we try to make the step for european mm-hmm. when we talk about uh, national teams uh, we talk about a, a long process right but in volleyball clubs in volleyball teams uh, uh sometimes you don't have a lot of time to be a process you have to uh to have a, a title in one year maybe or in one season how do you lead with that uh, this is the most difficult part this is a very good question this is the most difficult part because uh, many teams and year after year this is changed because in the past uh, there are more team give you call this kind of project i mean you know a time for work and the right to take successful is happened not a lot of time in my life basically is happened in the first part of my career in scavolini pesaro and after any team mm-hmm. want to win uh, the first season the first season the first season and i think is the situation makes the team n- n- loser no winner or you should to be lucky because for to win you have to prepare the street for win, the way for win. Some club has to win immediately, immediately. Thank God in my career I am lucky. Something I do like this, something is happened. But for sure, if you have a time, if you find it one team, one club give you at least three, four year contract and one plan for to raise, I think you can become really winner year after year. Looks what's happened in Vaki Bank with Giovanni, with it. No, a lot of fear mm-hmm. can project is don't yeah. start good and after it's incredible successful. And don't think also national team don't have this. National team year after year is like club anytime. <laughs> They continue to offer kind of <laughs> fake four year contract two plus two because event is, is any two year, but they want to win immediately and now. <laughs> so it's complicated. Mm-hmm. Um you are very aware of how European volleyball is played because you've been everywhere, but you've also been here in America. You coached Canada and also Canada started to develop a higher level. Right now they are at the VNL and I think a big part of that is because you put something in the team that led to them now being within the 16 teams top of the world. Uh, But what was the difference working with Canada than working with European volleyball? Because Canada is, I think, the complete opposite. They don't have a league. The best, yes, true. Canada is totally different. And uh, the problem of Canadian volleyball for to arrive in real level is not the league, it's the mentality they want to uh, manage this kind of sport. I think still in Canada, Uh, it's very difficult to find a player arrive from university to Canada or and thinking become a volleyball player until they don't have this step. And I work harder and at least uh, thank you, you are you one of the people understand now there is the most number of Canadians in the story to play in Europe <laughs> because yeah. uh, two, two, three years yeah. ago I start to open a lot of connection for this, uh, for to give a chance uh, to some interesting player to arrive to take uh, European volleyball, make experience and come back in national team and take the skill they took it for to go to play. This was one of the main first program in Ca- for Canada for Volleyball Federation. And at least now this work and there are a lot of players. Last year in Italy there are five Canadian players. This has never happened in the story of Italy. And uh, now they are in Turkey, in Italy, in Poland, in Germany. And uh, I think this is the skill they can have like national team. But until the mentality don't make one step for to be in professional way, it's complicated to become big team. I, 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 I like uh, Canada volleyball team when you uh, come to, to Peru to the Pan American Cup. I, th- I don't remember exactly, but I think what's that. I think uh, you put a 
new chip, uh, a new uh, mentally in, in Canada girls. Um, and now I, <laughs> I, I was thinking if, if you would like to, to, to go to Canada to, to coach the, the national team in, in, in some moment. Yeah, I, I, this was my job, change mentality. I think this is the first goal before Technica. And that season we do, at least we take one uh, bronze medal in Panam Cup after 18 years of Canada. I think this great mm -hmm. result. With, uh, try to imagine three of these players after this tournament go in school because they start again to play in NCAA. So we make, I think, incredible job. And this was the first step, step for to create this stronger mentality. But after my vision and the vision of Federation was a little bit different for to decide to continue. So I prefer to leave uh, the, the Canada then stay in this condition. Mm -hmm. But you, you going through Canada actually did something that you just said was historic for, this, for the Italian league, that is five Canadian players. And I think that, I personally think that the Italian Volleyball League is the best one because every player that is something is there. And you managed to put a lot of players from your national team into the league. How does that happen with other coaches? Do you talk about it? Do you just yeah. watch people or? Yes, I call a lot of coaches directly. I, first of all, I go to the player and I say, look, there is a five, six, seven manager in the world can help you. If you want to go in Turkey, you can have this connection. If you want to go in Italy, you have this connection. There are some companies more stronger than others, more agency. Plus, uh, all mm -hmm. some coaches I call and say, if you need that one player is here, if you need that other player is here, manager after... Uh, show the player and after a coach call me back also for have some feedback so this is start to open the conversation because before it was so close it's very difficult for Europe to understand uh, no Norsica uh, even Norsica player and uh, but I think um, also I think in to organize and I spoke with Canadian Federation I had one idea to make one kind of camp with uh, 20 others of national team come and practice 15 days Uh, in Europe, seven days in Italy, seven days in Turkey, so manager and team can come, team manager, and speak with the player. In this way, you can create some kind of connection, and I start to work on it. And what is it that I... you look for in a player, or what the managers are looking for in a player? Because most players here in South America don't know that. Yes, maybe they trust what I say. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, or, or I will send some video and oh, I will show something like in Pan American Cup, Emily Mayo, Autumn Bailey, Kira Van Rijk. No one knows Kira Van Rijk. These uh, very young girls. And after I took in Bergamo, now she's opposite in Resovia in Pan Am Cup, become the best ace when she was 19, 20. So after, uh, you know, uh, when you give this kind of, when you show this kind of player, when you take result, because the result is the first key also for to pay, make people know, and uh, after become a little bit easier. Marcelo, you have in your team a um, new uh, volleyball player that is Karakur. Everywhere, everybody in the world uh, is about, uh, is talk about her. Um, why you decide to to to, to took her to your team? You, do you did you talk with Guidetti about her? But really, uh, not so much because uh, <laughs> I I ask yes, of course. Uh, me and Giovanni are friend, and uh, but uh -huh. uh, um, I think uh, Vakif don't need it Karakur right now. They have already player in top level. Karakurt is one player needed to make some step process because before become top level player. So I think mm -hmm. the, the chance she has to play and improve in our team is important also for Vakivan. Uh, she has great potential. She is very good girl. She has just to stabilize a little bit her technica and her emotional during the match like any young player. No, I was I was still thinking, I'm sorry, I was still thinking about how you can make a Pan American Cup, which is an event that not many people in the world know. 
uh, into contracts for a lot of players. Uh, what do you think of South American players? Because you are saying that it is difficult to go to pitch an Orseca player, but outside of Brazil, do you think of South American players in the Italian league? No, I coaching a lot of Brazilian players. One of very young players I took in my team uh, was uh, Sheila Tavares in Pesaro and after becoming incredible champions. I I had already a lot of Brazilian Italy. I play with, I had some Cuban because I had uh, Tamari Saguero. I have a Latin uh, South American player. I like so much the style of South American player. I like so much energy Latin. At least I am Italian, so we are similar about <laughs> about some kind of. Uh, of course, volleyball is a little bit different. You need to find it the the best connection, but uh, it's different. Uh, I don't miss understanding. Norseca, I mean more Canada because already USA you find a different kind of player, but uh, South American <laughs> player. In the culture of volleyball is very higher, more higher than Canada. South America, um, vo volleyball is born also in South America. There are a lot of uh, uh, strong reality already. There is Peru, there is Dominican Republic, there is uh, Brazil, there is Argentina. Uh, there are a lot of countries with the <laughs> of volleyball. Men or women doesn't matter. Volleyball is volleyball. Don't have one temp, you know. Uh, so the, the culture of volleyball in South America is higher. So it's easier also for them to come here. Just adapt a little bit about different kind of vision. That's all. Mm -hmm. Marcello, I read uh, an article in an uh, Italian web. When you uh, choose your top five, uh, the best volleyball players in the world and in any time, and you choose um, Gabriela Perez del Solar, that it was one of the uh, best volleyball players here in Peru and I th I think uh, in the world. Why Gabi was special for, for you, for your vision? Oh, I was very young when I am when I was opportunity to be assistant coach with Gabi Perez. In, um, uh -huh. But one talent like her, she can play in any position. She's able to do anything. She can play opposite, she can play middle player, she can play spiker, she can block, she can service, she can pass, she can defense. <laughs> she, I, one player <laughs> I never find in my life. Like, one player like this, incredible, incredible. Oh, impossible. They're in top. I think that when the, the Peru make Olympic medal, a lot of very good players. Mm -hmm. Abby was the star. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to mention the other, the other four because you put her with Mireya Luis, Artamonova, uh, Kim Young Kyung, and Eleonora Lobianco, that are really some of the best players that have ever passed through volleyball. But what about modern volleyball? And, and I'm just talking about this last 10 years, maybe. How do you think the players are doing in this last 10 years as of volleyball? It's gone down. down. I think they are very great player, but the number of the great player is less in the past. Because I think uh, there is no, not really... Okay, finding one really, really top level setter. Maybe yes, there is one, two, but in the past there is ten, nine, ten. There is really different, you know? Uh, mm. Same for any position. Now, yes, there is very, very good player, of course. Du Ting is one monster now. Uh, Egonu, one monster, of course. There are uh, Hak, very, very good player. There are in, very good middle player. But the, I think you find it now probably more physical talent than technical talent or poor athletes like you find it in the past. Oh. And, and why, why is the reason? Um, why the, the volleyball players aren't, aren't better, aren't better than, than in the past? Very okay, long. I don't think. <laughs> on my opinion. I try to do very short. First of all, the generation is different. There is not suffering mm -hmm. like before. Before, if you find it all talents arrive from Cuba, And now Cuba, basically, in volleyball is not top. Before, Cuba win alone. 
and because there is more attitude <laughs> to something, Cuba, in, in general, in the world, in a lot of countries. So it's also more easy for the coach of young national team or, or young club teach technica because the player, the family is ready to leave the child, make suffering for to take one position on the right. Now the world is changing this. What I talk especially with my friends coaching young girls. And second thing, so you say before, no one offer any more project. How we also in young team, they come to you and they say you have to win the tournament of your city. Ma are you joking? Mm. You have to take the player, not to win the tournament of your city. I think it's really general situation. Mm. It's amazing to hear you saying that because that is something that happens here also, but in a larger scale. I don't, you're not going to believe this, but you, we're asking 11-year-old 11 11 year girls to win championships now <laughs> because yeah, they're, they're under 12 championships. This is sick. This is sick. You, you have to, to, to grow up the player. You don't have to win any young title. The, young, the best title you can win is take more player you can for top division. Mm -hmm. what, what do you feel it does to... Oh, I mean, we've seen what it does, but... What are the repercussions of not of making players battle for a championship too early? You don't develop enough players because you're giving someone that maybe not for a higher level the chance to win something when they're young and that's their peak. No, it doesn't exist one age. It this is one player is no. If there is one player 17 ready for win something, why she, she don't need to play for win something? But if one player 17 needed to improve, is not uh, you have to find it for me the best team for the best moment for the player. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Uh, because you risk also to kill one player if he's in one process to development for grow up to put in wrong team. You understand? Oh, yeah, expectation is higher. How many players stop? Uh, air uh, growing and after take it after three four years because may some wrong choice or wrong team or wrong situation and after they have to find it there again so there is no one age there is only one player to be ready or not for to do this mm -hmm. i understand maybe maybe 17 is the age you become a world star champion maybe it's 24 maybe it's 30. <laughs> Cinini was with us in Bergamo when there is Gabi Perez de Solar. She was 17, 18. We win Champions League. She was ready. <laughs> <laughs> play, play, was ready. Yeah. So, matter age, there is player 24 is not ready. <laughs> Maybe they are ready in 27. Carolina mm -hmm. Costante, and I love like a player. The, the, Also my friend, she arrived to take the best skill in his career after 25. Before and after 25, become one of the best spikers in the world. There is no one age. The best spiker of the 2011 World Cup, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and after top and after arrive again. This is uh, one big example can be her. Marcelo, I, I don't have a, um, a really good question about uh, your work in different countries because uh, he said me that in all your countries that you uh, train, um, that country uh, had a high level, like a, a, like a national team. Um, inside your club, and uh, why do you, you know, why do you contrib contribute, Tony? How How do you contribute with your club to the national team? Uh -huh. mm, you mean I raise the player of the country, no? Mm -hmm. um, oh. In every in every uh, league that you've played, the national team of that league has gone up somehow at world ranking level, <laughs> at European level, and we were wondering how does the club help the national team? Ah, easy. If you coaching good the player of the country, national team. <laughs> very easy. This is very easy. example. Three years ago, when I arrived at Police, one girl don't know if she should to play in two, in four. She don't play, eh? Malvina Smarzek. Uh -huh. 
the boys. Like, the side she play up, she start to play opposite. She win MVP in the final, and after she go and they take this. I saw one young girls that year in young team, and I say this player have to stay with us next season. Magdalena Stijak, and she start. Yeah. And now yeah. we have best biker of the Poland was in Kemi Polici this <laughs> year and half. So and one of the player was not in first team. Unbelievable. Yeah, that is uh, actually what I was talking about because um, it seems like after you play one league, there are ma there are some changes made to the national team, and that those changes are somehow for the positive. And now I'm kind of understanding how it's done with Poland because Poland is starting to get back the side that lost after the 2014 non qualification. Yeah. And it is interesting to learn how it worked from the club perspective. Yeah, this is what's happened. Of course, I do the best for me and for my club. But when you teach to when you, the player of the country, you have to, to phrase that the player of the country. This is normal, no? And But this is example mm -hmm. in Kemi Police was uh, so clear. Mm -hmm. Marcello, you have a lot of different titles and long career in, club, in clubs inside of Italy. Why is for you uh, how difficult, how much difficult uh, work in Italy? In Italy, I lost three champions consecutively with Villa Cortese and one when I was in Yesi, I win two Italian Cup. I think two of these three titles, unfortunately, have very big injuries in the final because Tamari Saguero first season and Martina Guigi mm -hmm. have effect. And a little bit unlucky because when you lost 17, 15, five games after five sets, it was very, very mm -hmm. happened. And it's okay. It's part of the life. But uh, work in Italy in um, is changed uh, in I start and to arrive now. Because now there is negative pressure. There is uh, less respect from the coaching than other country. This mm -hmm. is the problem for me right now to come back in Italy. Wow, it is it's for 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 the power of the money, maybe that there are in, in all no, the clubs. It's not only the money. Um, it's not only the money. The matter uh, is really the condition of working. Uh, okay. You feel uh, the coach should to be in the center of the project or the center of the team, not to be mm -hmm. part. Of the team. And I feel any time. I don't work for the club. I work with the club. In Italian, I work for the club. And I can't work in this way. I have to work with the club. After the club, of course, can fire at me when they want. But we have to work together for the result. Not I have to work for you. Yeah, I have to work with you. This small detail changed so much for me. It's, it's actually a big deal. <laughs> 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 and that yeah. is the vision in in the volleyball league. Sorry, I, uh, work with the uh, the club. Work with the with the trainer. Yes, the, the work the work is decide together, work together, have a plan together, do together. Mm -hmm. Not kind of bossing. You know, I have to do. You have to do. You have to do. It's not. It's not this. Wow. Yeah. I'm coach. Um, I, I, so I am with you, for you. Mm -hmm. You can do, you can choose because you pay me, of course, you are my boss, but you have to work together. Not in any mm -hmm. time, it's in this part. You kind of explained what you said at the beginning about the negative pressure, and, and it is that difference. I'm working with you to get something versus I'm work, you're working for me to get something. Yes, exactly. And when I start to feel this, I leave the club. This is the reason because I already leave three, four clubs with one year more contracts. Also, when I mm -hmm. can wait to find something after. Mm. And that pressure is also for the players. I've seen, I, I can talk about uh, Carly Lloyd, for example, that recently had uh, in pregnant. Um, there have a lot of different uh, insults, insults uh, yeah. or aggression, verbal aggression. 
shocked because what I read about Carly and what they do about Carly's situation. I am totally in shock, and, but this is the clear, mm-hmm. I mean, what, why it's complicated right now working there. If you read such a, mm-hmm. yeah, if you read the, the club uh, situation is, uh, uh, I had two babies, the small one and one year and a half, playing one woman because it's pregnant for me is something unbelievable. I really, it's better I don't talk about that. Sorry, for me, they are in different people no. for life and body. Oh, it's okay. No. Yeah, no, it's okay. It's okay. And how do you see Italian volleyball right now? Because it is seen as the best volleyball in the world for the league, for the national team. That you've just right now uh, qualified for the under 18 World Championship also. What do you see for the future of Italian volleyball? I think very great future for Italian volleyball. A lot of talent, a lot of new players, a lot of physical, a lot of young. Uh, the new generation they raising is uh, very, very interesting. I think Italian can be so much like um, Serbian, okay, still in the top. The same, USA still in the top level. And Turkish, I think interesting young player can be arrived one of the top eight probably soon or top top five can be uh, no, this, is, uh, this is a little trivia that we know that we like to think ask the coaches what they think of this ever since 2010 the winner of the previous silver medal wins the gold medal at the next championship uh, Russia defeated Brazil at the 2010 championship Brazil won gold at 2012. USA lost that gold, won gold at 2014, then China, then Serbia, and Italy is the last one to win the silver medal. So they are <laughs> supposedly, according to this trivia, supposed to get the gold medal at 2020. <laughs> well, 2021 now. Olympics medal because we're missing this medal. So we'll be great. <laughs> have a chance, of course, have a chance. But uh, uh, I don't know. Really, after this COVID, I don't know which kind of play team you can find it in the next Olympic. Anything is different. But I think still China and Serbia probably can do really also very big opponent for this new Olympic. Marcelo, finally, I would like to, to your opinion about the uh, Italian coaches because there are a, a new school in In every bar and in, in all the world, there are an Italian coach. There are a lot. In, in, in Peru, the assistant of the head coach, Paco Arbaz, was Jose Antonio Gáceres. He's Peruvian, but he worked a lot in Italy. Why the, the coaches in Italy are, uh, you know, are in, in all the world and everybody talks about uh, her, his good labor? We start to raise and improve so much our volleyball movement finish 80, almost 90. Uh, when uh, mm-hmm. very, very good uh, coaches come and start to teach volleyball, uh, it was uh, Skiba from Poland, Julio Velasco from Argentina, and uh, mm-hmm. some coach from Brazil. The federation understand this opportunity and start to create some kind of school for to become coach in Italy top level, at least you spend something like 11 years for make course uh, and uh, learning uh, and uh, coaching. Uh, our number of the team, I don't know how much team we have if you consider any division, maybe 150,000, 200,000, maybe more. If you start from first division and you go down, we have first division, second division, B, B2, C, Prima divisione, seconda divisione, terza divisione, youth championship. Eh? We have one million of championship. So, so coach have a chance mm-hmm. to, to make this situation. Uh, mm-hmm. we have, uh, also, we do from federation to share our experience, our information. We have appointment where we talking and we create this kind of appointment. I think if you want to become coach, you have to invest so much to yourself. But Italian give you this possibility in the past. Yeah, thank you, Marcelo. It was a, a pleasure and honor to talk with you. Yeah, Marcelo, thank you for having a conversation with us. You've taught us a lot and 
thank you for sharing your time. Thank you. Thank you for calling me. And I hope <laughs> to see you in one gym soon, okay? Oh, we, we need to. Definitely. We need to <laughs> Definitely. <laughs>